Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Lara. Uh, I just wanted to make a video on a book that I just finished reading about a week or two ago. Um, it is called Hunted by Darcy Coates. Um, this is it. Um, and it is one of the first, if not the first, book that I have read in the genre of horror. Um, my husband, Jordan, really enjoys reading horror, so I figured I'd try a book or two um, in the genre so that, like, I can kind of see what he enjoyed about it. And so um, I figured um, when we were at Barnes & Noble about a month or two ago, I figured I'd look and see if there was a book that piqued my interest, and this was the first one that did. And so after reading the, the back cover and a few the first few pages of it I was really intrigued and so I I picked it up I bought it and it was really good um, outside of like a couple things that I was like mm, I don't know um, more of like towards like the end of it I like was like I don't know um, but overall I really liked this book um, but overall a quick a very quick synopsis of what the book is about is about a young college age woman by the name of Eileen she is on vacation um, to a small town by the name of Helmer of which they have within their town they have a I guess a national forest um, with hiking trails for anyone from a beginner hiker to a an experienced hiker, they can they have about ten trails that they can go hike on, um, and so at the her last day on her vacation, um, she decides to go up there and hike for the day, um, and as she goes along, she takes photos and everything, and so she ends up getting lost. Um, her parents never received. A phone call that they were expecting because Eileen had always called them in the evenings and so they reported her missing um, the very next day uh, and after a lot of back and forth um, the police department find like they say that they'll try and find her but they said that they couldn't make any promises and after her parents fly in and a guy who was interested in her went in to the forest by himself to try and find her um, her brother Chris and three of three other friends decided to go to t to Helmer because they thought they saw something in some of the developed photos that the police got from her retrieved camera uh, that she had lost um, the night that she went missing and so they thought that they saw something in some of the nighttime photos and they take the brother and friends take it to the police and be like hey like we see this figure in the photos like we think it there's a monster or something in the forest hunting these people or hunting Eileen and the police officer who has her case is like I don't know like I'm sorry I can't do a whole lot we have limited resources and so Eileen's brother and the three friends decide to go in the forest as well um, and so and they also ex start experiencing the same thing that Eileen did uh, and so and by the end of the book they get some of them get hurt um, and they come out of the forest very shaken up not of course I'm trying not to give too much away um, in case some of y'all want to read it um, but but yeah I'll I'll stop there um, on what the book is about 
because I don't want to give too much away. Um, but the writing style that this author does um, is each chapter she writes it from a different character's perspective. And so, for example, like the first chapter is from Eileen's perspective because that's the whole focus of the book is Eileen and her getting lost and them trying to find her. Um, and so the first chapter is obviously from her perspective and then the other chapters per character perspectives are from the police officer, um, the, um, the, oh, I'm sorry, there's a bug flying around. Um, but the character's perspectives that she writes from is obviously from Eileen in the first chapter. Then it's the police officer, Chris, her brother, um, and the, like, kind of her brother and the three friends with him kind of all together. Um, and then Todd, who is the lone friend that decides to go in by himself. Um. And so those are all the pers perspectives that the author writes from. And so I enjoyed that um, writing style because it does help with the overall, like getting to know each character and like forming, I guess that, I guess that reader character bond. And so um, I liked that perspective. Um, but at the same time, it can be very, like it can get very grueling in a way because at towards the end of the book it's like you get so invested in what's happening to one of one or a group of the characters that you're like I don't want I want to know what happens next but then it's like it chapter changes therefore the character perspective changes so it's like oh my word like I can't take this like I want to know what happens to this other person I don't want to know what's going on with this other character but I think even though I was having a negative reaction to that I guess you can say I still appreciated it because it helped the story along and it helps it it helps the ending um come to a conclusion and help when all the characters um, come together, um, it it helps you kind of see them as like a cohesive, like you appreciate them as a whole in that last chapter um, because you got to see each of their perspectives. So I appreciate, I, I appreciated that for that. And so, um, but overall, I did really enjoy this book. Um, I will say, if you do decide to pick this book up, um, the, there is some things in kind of towards the second half of the book, towards the end of the book, that there is some weapon violence. Um, and it does, the author does go into some detail about the aftermath of that weapon violence. Um, and so I guess, like, I don't want to say it because I don't want to get dinged on YouTube, but um, I guess you can just safely assume what weapon I'm talking about. But um, kind of towards the end, it does kind of describe a little bit of the aftermath, um, which includes some, uh, Body, bodily fluids um, and so I will I will say that to like I guess forewarn you in case you do get a little bit squeamish around that kind of thing um, and so but yeah I really liked this book um, like I said earlier um, I found it at Barnes and Noble in the horror section um, it's Haunted by Darcy Coates, and I know you can also find it on Amazon um, if, you, if you can't get to Barnes & Noble. And so, um, 
but yeah overall I really enjoyed this book um, as my first I guess introduction into horror um, I will be picking up more of um, her, her uh, books and um, her collections and because I did really enjoy her writing style even though I enjoyed that it was very it was also like kind of like I don't I don't want to say like a basic writing style but it did it it was an easy flow um, and it didn't get overly complicated I guess um, but yeah that was my um, thoughts on this book um, in a very quick condensed um, video but yeah um, I hope you um, enjoyed this video um, hit the thumbs up video or the thumbs up um, icon if you did like it um, and if you want to see more videos similar to this like book reviews like just different things that I will be uploading in the future please hit the subscribe button and if you do decide to pick this book up and read it uh, please feel free to uh, come back to this video and comment down below what you thought of it and I would love to uh, just talk to y'all about it and everything and so please um, I hope you enjoy uh, this video and I will talk to y'all see y'all in the next one bye